Once the vehicle is safely raised and supported, you would continue on by removing your 21 millimeter lug nuts. Remove the wheel. The next thing that we're going to need to do is disconnect our brake hose from the caliper. To do that, we're going to use some wire hose clamps. This is going to help prevent fluid from coming down. There is still going to be fluid that comes out of this once we loosen it, so you need to make sure you have hand protection and a collection receptacle waiting for the fluid. Let that drain into the bucket. Your new caliper is going to come with one of these little plugs. Remove it from the new caliper and insert it into your old caliper. This is going to prevent fluid from coming out. The next thing we would do would be remove these caliper bracket mounting bolts. They're 19 millimeter. You might notice this one's easy to get to. This one's not so easy under here. So for that one, I'm going to use a wrench and my rubber mallet. Get it broken free. Do the same to the top up here. There we are. Switch over to a ratcheting wrench. You can get that out of there. Remove that bolt, remove the caliper. Okay, so I'm going to be replacing the pads and rotors on this, so you're going to see those change over. But if you're just continuing on with your original pads and rotors, you just pop these out of here. We're going to uh, lubricate the new caliper, get it ready for the pads, and then I'll show you how to install them at that point. We have our brand new caliper. Remove your sliders. Pay special attention to where they're located because you'll notice one has this little rubber uh, grommet on there. So you need to make sure you put that on the same side. Here's the muscle of our caliper. I'm going to take a little bit of this molly grease and just go right along that piston area and then along the forked area. That looks great. We'll set that aside. Now if you look at the caliper bracket, this is where the tins are going to ride. You'll put some tins on there, and then of course the pads will go up against the tins. So you need to put a little bit of this grease. That's going to help with vibration dampening and noise reduction. Two brand new tins. Slide them right on there. Same for the other side. Beautiful. We've got our brand new pads here. The side with the wear indicator is going to go on the inside portion. Just slide that in there. It should want to move around freely. Same for the outer pad, which does not have a wear indicator. Just like that. Take this, turn it around. I'm going to remove this boot right here. I'm going to use some more of this caliper grease. I'm going to go right along that hole right there and then up along the edge where the boot's going to ride. That's going to help keep moisture out of there so the slider won't, won't uh, freeze up. That in there, give it a little twist. Do the same to the other side. Up along that lip. Slide the boot on there, little twist, turn it back around. We're going to grab our caliper, slide it right over those pads, being careful for our boots. More grease, right along the whole shaft of that. And then you can see a little lip right before those threads start. 
you need to make sure you get a little bit right up on there as well. That's also where the boot's gonna ride. Slide it through here and then through the boot. I'm just gonna start that in a couple threads. We'll do the same to the other side. There we are. Now we'll just bottom these bolts out. Let's head back over to the vehicle. Let's take our bracket bolts and our caliper, right up on here like that, start these in. Let's bottom these out. Let's torque these bolts to 62 foot-pounds. That's torqued. As I'm sure you can notice, this bolt is blocked by these arms down here. You could of course remove these and torque this, but then you're also going to need to torque these. So just go by your best judgment and make sure that this is tight. We're going to torque this to 62 foot-pounds. There we are. Next, we're going to torque the caliper slider to 32 foot-pounds. Torqued, and down here we have the same issue, so let's make sure that this is tight as well. Now we have our caliper banjo bolt. I'm going to put on one of my brand new crush washers or gaskets. I have a second one. But first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this flex hose, make sure that there's no existing crush washer on there, this one looks great. If there is one on there, you need to make sure you remove it. Now I'm gonna take the second gasket, place it on there. So I have banjo bolt, washer, hose, banjo bolt, and now it's gonna to go to the caliper. Let's tighten this up with our 11 millimeter. Okay, I bottomed out right there. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go a quarter turn. That's nice and tight. At this point, you can remove your flex hose depressor there. Perfect. One of the next things we need to do is check the brake fluid. You want to make sure that the level is at least up to the maximum line. Give it a little shake. You can see that it's low. We're going to add because the next thing that we need to do after that is bleed the brakes. That looks pretty good for now. Let's put this cap back on so we don't absorb any moisture and we can continue. If you're replacing more than one caliper at a time, you need to make sure that you go by the proper bleeding sequence. Generally speaking, you'd start with the caliper furthest away from the master cylinder. With that said, we can continue with our bleed. Um, go ahead and pump up your brakes. So what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna pump up the brakes until the pedal feels firm. I've got my collection bucket here to make sure that I don't contaminate the ground. All right, so he says he's holding. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this bleeder screw. Fluid's gonna come out with a lot of air. Okay, that one was mostly just air, no fluid. Let's go ahead and do it again. Here we go. All right. So you saw all those spurts that just came out. That's air coming out with the fluid. You need to make sure that you have no more air bubbles inside this caliper before you move along. Go ahead and pump it again. Definitely less air, but still a little bit of air. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm gonna close this up. Now you just clean up your mess. Grab your bleeder screw cover. You need to make sure that you put a cover back on. There we are. Um, of course, you clean up the rest of the brakes. Make sure you don't have any handprints on anything. Move along to the next side, assuming you did a caliper on the other side. It's time to get the wheel up on here. Grab your hubcap. 
line up the valve stem with the valve stem home hole in the hubcap, lug nut, let's get them all started on here, time to snug them up, Torque the lug nuts to 83 foot pounds. Torqued. Let's recheck our brake fluid. Yep, that's low. We're going to top it off. Perfect. Make sure you cover it nice and tight. Close the hood, take it for a road test.